Olin Pisces Sun Capricorn Moons. Welcome to your 2022 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me a DM or an email and we can certainly set that up. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2021 Sun Moon readings in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. Um, the first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2022. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. So Pisces, Sun, Capricorn, Moons, luckily for you, you're your goal oriented and managing Capricorn can propel many of your visions into reality. However, unlike other Pisces, you can put your feelings in your pocket when it comes to anything standing between you and your goals. You also tend to keep your emotions in check behind a cool and stoic surface. Romantically, you're not one to trust easily. In fact, you're very cautious of who you connect with, but once trust has been earned, you are fiercely loyal. You will provide for your partner and create a comforting and nurturing environment, but it can be a challenge to meet your match since your insecurities and introver introversion can often get the best of you rather than putting yourself out there. But your true love is your career and how far you can achieve within it. That's not to say you're stuck in a corporate environment. You can just as easily achieve incredible success in any creative field where you get to express your aesthetic visions. You have a strong sense of duty in organizations. A more of, you have a stronger sense of duty in organization than mo most Pisces. At times, your emotions can't be completely suppressed, and you might manifest negative emotions by trying to exercise more control over situations and people than you probably should. So, Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Pisces, Sun, Capricorn, Moons? For the year 2022, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach their higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? Pisces, Sun, Capricorn, Moons. What do you see? What do they need to know? Pisces, Sun, Capricorn, Moons. For the year 2022, can you please show me January, February, March for Pisces, Sun, Capricorn, Moons? What do you see for July, August, September? July, August, September for Pisces, Sun, Capricorn, Moons. What do you see for July? Wait, this was April, May, June. I'm sorry. What do you see for July, August, September, please? July, August, September is the death card in the upright. What do you see for October, November, December for Pisces, Sun, Capricorn, Moons? You have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Some crazy cards here, but we'll figure out what's going on. Um, other things to mention. One thing, if you skip the intro, go back and listen to it. I went over your sun moon combination. I also told you how to use this reading. Um, and then check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, or donate. Let's get to the reading. So it seems like in January, February, March, you don't have a lot of things kind of coming towards you. You don't have a lot of opportunities. I mean, you know, you don't have a lot of jobs available to you or a lot of suitors or just opportunities or options in general. And I feel like this is a real frustration for you. Um, I think that um, you feel like this is setting you back. You feel like you feel like you've maybe you put a lot of energies into something and then they kind of feel wasted or you feel like you're struggling or um, you're having a hard time uh, connecting with people um, communicatively. So, you know, kind of communicating what you need in order for options to kind of happen. And and I just feel a general frustration in regards to that in January, February, March, which I'm really surprised by um, because you guys are real go-getters. But in April, May, June, what I see is you all kind of coming to this conclusion, well, nothing's happening here, so how long am I just going to sit here and kind of do nothing? While I'm sitting here in this situation, whatever the situation is, and, and just in limbo, just sitting on my laurels, um, there's tons of stuff that, that is happening around me or tons of things that I could be jumping on or making happen. So because of this inaction, and I feel as though this is being... A, um, um, impressed upon you. So you could be um, stuck in a job, stuck in a contract, stuck in a relationship or something like that. And and you don't feel like anything really uh, of opportunities coming to you. Um, so you're saying to yourself, well, 
I can't kind of have this going on. I need to kind of do something about it. So I almost feel like a seed is planted where you say, I kind of have to get off my butt here and start making things happen. If I want my life to change, it's up to me to, you know, be proactive and kind of make that happen. So in July, August, September, I see a major transformation for you. This is where you kind of realize I'm out of here. I, I need to change things. Things cannot be like they were. I've already burned away half of the year. So either you leave a, a relationship, um, you leave a job, um, you leave a place where you live, you leave your family. It's something. You definitely turn the page. Um, and it's a huge deal too. I mean, the death card in the upright, it isn't anything that's taken lightly. It's saying to yourself, you know, I have to, I have to let go of this because it's not working for me and, and I'm done. There's a finality that comes with the death card too, saying that once that you end or you purge from it, you're not going back. You're not looking back. It's done. It's over with and you move forward. Now, I'm a little bit concerned because in October, November, December, it's showing that whatever situation you kind of get into, um, thinking that it was going to work out or might happen, um, you actually, for some of you also, you kind of thought that you were going to be able to do it better, or be elevated sometimes, um, or, or thought that you were going to be a celebrity of some sort and be realized for all your efforts. You get into a situation where it doesn't seem like that ends up happening. And it's not because of you. I think it's the people that are around you. So the the people that are around you, you just don't get along with them. Things aren't working out. Um, you know, you feel like you stick out like a sore thumb. Um, they are not appreciating what you kind of bring to the table. So they don't value you. They don't think what, what you're kind of bringing is, is you know, worthwhile. Um, and, and I feel as though this ends up being a real like a situation where you're like, oh, you know, why, okay, why isn't this working out? This is, this is a pain, you know? So you get yourself in a situation that's very tedious, that, that has a very poor plan associated to it. I mean, again, I don't, I don't feel that it's anything about you. I feel like you land yourself in it with these other people who just really aren't good at, um, at what they do or moving things forward, or this could even be a community for instance. So let's just say, and this is an analogy, it's not what I'm seeing, but just to get you to understand, let's say that you move into a community and you know, they have an HOA or whatever and, and you know, it's really tight knit and, and they have really like, you know, specific rules and you're the new person moving in and it's really hard for you to kind of integrate with them and things like that. So, um, and, and again, it's them, it's not you. I don't, I don't feel that it's anything necessarily you did. It's just you land yourself in a situation like this. So that's what I'm seeing for right now. Um, if it resonates, consider a personal reading, just send me an email or a DM. Um, otherwise, I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2022. Um, make sure you check out your 2021 sun moon readings. See if they uh, see if they rang true for you. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios, Pisces sun, Capricorn moons. Best of luck to you in 2022. Bye.